Yes, Zerahipt is finished. It is done. I have nothing to add to it anymore. So you go download it, share it with some Let's Players out there, and have a grand old time. Yeah, you spotted the length of this video. It's not really that simple, is it? Me just coming to you and telling that a lifelong project is just finished? Let me tell you why I can't continue on Zerahypt anymore. The main culprit? Unity. And only Unity. Let me just say that Unity can eat a bag of disembodied rat penises and get rammed in the ass by a fucking battlecruiser. Sure, I will agree with you that Unity is a great game engine. Its interface is good, it's, it is capable and will put out some really good games. But for a person, or maybe some others like me, who wants to continue on a really big, lifelong project, it is utter fucking trash. Why? Five or something years ago, Unity updated from version 4 to version 5. And when that happened, I thought it would be like any other update. I'd have my entire project converted flawlessly. But when I converted it, all of my fucking shaders don't work anymore. All my prefabs, such as vehicles and NPCs, had all of their joint settings scrambled where I could see a fucking pink Mevnav fly up into the skies and a pink Helirotor with all of its individual joints spassing the fuck out. And then I saw Piritsuka doing the plank on the ground. This also means that the scripts that influence the physics of objects had their settings scrambled too. Not the literal variable settings, but the way the scripts communicate to the physical objects have turned completely different. I rely a lot on physics in order to make Zerahypt interesting. But all of my fucking 100 plus vehicles and 50 plus NPCs and what else fucking billion other objects has to be recalibrated. Both their scripts, joints and materials. Individually. So I said fuck this update and I stuck with my old Unity 4. Because up till this day, in 2020, I can still publish things out from it, and they still work fine on today's systems. But then I ran into a problem. Unity 4 is a 32-bit program. Yeah, you know what that means. I can't build a project file that's too large, or the fucking memory will run out. So I had to move scenes around, depending on their size, so it won't touch this border during build and compress a lot of assets such as audio files, textures and 3D models. But I could only do it so far until I literally had to roll the dice and pray to god that it would not give me this fucking error. This shit is PTSD for a single creator. But I'm not done yet. Today Unity has updated from version 5 to where they just put the release date at the end. And being the naive dumb fuck that I am, I thought they'd actually gift me a converting process that would actually work. But no, even the fucking converting is a dice roll now. Because they have this. Iteration? Well, I didn't think of it too much, but after waiting for 30 minutes it went like halfway. And the damn thing resetted. And then it goes on and on, resetting all the way back here with the iteration count rising. I literally passed out there. I woke up and saw iteration 224 or some shit, and it was probably importing for 3 hours, and I was met with something amazing. The progress bar was beyond the middle, and it finished. So again, pretty much a dice roll, as fucking usual, but anyway, I launched up my project, and I was met with this, but most importantly, this. Unity 5 had a converter that converted JavaScripts into c -sharp scripts. But this version seems to have given me the middle finger and just yeeted the crap into Uranus. So at that point I was literally depressed. I thought converting my Unity 4 project to the newest Unity would be easy. 
So yeah, a seven-year-old project is now at an indefinite standstill. The only thing I can do now is to put the whole project up for download for other people to enjoy. I see this as a last-ditch effort to let you have fun and tinker with what I've created so far. Because Terahypt, as it is now, is finished. That's it. <laughs>